All right. So here's the problem, too. Can men interfere in the will of the living God and be following the evil murderous God and still play dumb that they don't know who's in? Right. Yes, yes. Greatly, greatly. Now, if I'm from following the living God and you're following the dead God, he will still destroy you by your evil deeds. Right. Pretending you're doing good when you're not is your first sin. Right. I can't have sex with someone, right? If you know I want sex with her, right? But I don't have to have sex with her. If you know I would have and didn't drink as well as well. What you're doing is called an oxymoron, right? In other words, right? You're so sure I would have sex with her that whether I had sex with her or not, you shot me, you know. But I also hear like the Wolverine, right? So you got her pregnant as soon as you shot me. If you hadn't shot me, she wouldn't get pregnant, right? And she had my baby, you know. <laughs> Not some other dudes. She is a virgin, right? Like Mary. <laughs> was, was. See, God showing you something, you still are played that man, right? It's the God of all flesh. Not me, not you, it did. <laughs> and you tempted it to witnesses, right? By using your daughter like she's my wife, right? Even if she's not, right? My wife, right? And accusing me of wanting to sleep with her without me sleeping with her, right? If you're sure I didn't, you can't let me out in your store for an hour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And if you, sure I would have, and you shot me as if I did, I did. <laughs> you understand what you did? Do you understand what you did? <laughs> when you shot me as if I did, I did. Even if I didn't. <laughs> you understand what you did. <laughs> no matter how long it took me to heal as well, if it was... 10 minutes, 20 minutes, right? And again, right? You shot me as if you knew I would, right? Even if I didn't, yeah, do not nerf that, right? When you shot me as if you knew I would, I did. <laughs> you're sitting here, sitting was the thing I would when I wouldn't, and uh, and act like I did when I didn't, right? <laughs> and I know better, right? But I also don't know better, right? You're right there too. Mm-hmm. But I would have had to ask her to go into the bathroom or something, and then you would have to stop it before we get to the bathroom, right? And again, right? If you're watching us from the office, which is upstairs, <laughs> as soon as we head to the bathroom, you would not. I know. I know that too. I know that too. But you're not to murder a person of her possible sex acts, right? Even if it never happened. I know. Especially if it never happened, right? That's called an accusation, right? It's an accusation because you made up your mind for me and your daughter. (laughs) And took the law into your own hands as a vigilante. Well, my God's the ultimate vigilante. (laughs) If you accuse me of sex with your daughter, whether we had it or not, and shot me as if we did. We did. We do. <laughs> do you understand what he did? Right? That's why he can't figure out why she got pregnant. Right? She didn't have sex with him. Right? But you said she did, and we did. Right? The day you accused me of it. Right? Now, if we didn't go to the bathroom, you know we didn't. Right? If we did, you let it happen, so you know she got pregnant. Now she got pregnant. Right? But then you're the liar lying about the truth, right? It don't take 20 minutes to shoot someone. It don't take 20 minutes for them to heal either, right? 
And you have to actually let the sex occur, right? Or it's not a crime you can even punish me for. I told you that all that did, right? See, you're confusing yourself by taking matters into your own hands whether we did something in the bathroom or not, right? But you would also have all that on tape, right? And of course, you're not going to show it to the police even though you banned me from the store three months later, right? And you're a bad dad, right? You're interfering, right? Not just with your daughter's marriage, but mine, right? And I can marry any woman, right? You can too, by the way. Mm -hmm. And if you treat it like it happened, even if it didn't happen, even if I was blacked out for 20 minutes, I told you this before, right? Before God healed it, right? And it healed it three times, 20 minutes, right? It's as if I had sex with her during that 20 minutes, right? Because I could have. <laughs> if you hadn't killed me either, right? We weren't really planning on it either, right? Me and her, you and her. She knew she could handle me. You don't believe she could handle me, right? And again, took the law into your own hands, right? To murder one of the two witnesses before he gets to Jerusalem murders you, right? Or gets your daughter pregnant without sex, right? See, every crime has an equal but opposite reaction, right? If I didn't have sex with her, and you said I would have, we did. <laughs> Do you understand why? <laughs> The accusation itself. The accusation itself. I know. Your face. <laughs> you shot me as if we did. You know. <laughs> Even if we didn't. Right? And you did nothing. Right? To again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> To see what would happen. I know. If I would resurrect or not, right? Once she shot me, though, right? If it took 20 minutes to heal <laughs> me, right? The reason it took that long, right? Is once I healed, the daughter feared God, right? Not eating at you. And she knew who sinned. You. you. <laughs> And her and her. Not only did you make her the bait to kill me, right? She lied about her age to kill me, right? I told you that too, right? And you're the one who could have stopped this before we went into the bathroom too. But like I told you, that's called no harm, no foul if we didn't even make it into the bathroom before you got downstairs, right? See what I mean? All right. We didn't make it into the bathroom, right? Now, if you have a gun on me and tell me to sit back down and I sit back down and you shoot me anyway, that's called what? Cold-blooded murder of an unarmed man. Yeah, yeah. You shot me as if we had sex, so God healed me in the same amount of time it would take us to have sex, right? Or more, or more. And see... She lied about her age, right? Not me to her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Understand what you did, jackass. <laughs> the accusation alone is why she got pregnant without sex. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, unless you again try to murder me again. <laughs> Simply for telling the story again and use other women, right? You're also setting her up in the future, even if she has sex with other men, to have my baby as well. What did I tell you that too? Right. Then you're pimping your own daughter out to other men, right? God didn't tell you to do that either, either. <laughs> Satan is because he's still the one confused and you're following the confused God, not the God who knows what's going on. <laughs> 
There's two gods. There always was, and there always is. And uh, there's the dead god who died and killed you all. <laughs> and then there's the living god who rose from the dead and still trying to save us all. Right? And we're following one or the other, and more likely, the other. <laughs> Right. So again, right, my TV won't show the picture, right? Why? Why? It's doing everything else normally, right? All I did was go to the Western system, right? All I did was eat the same meal I always eat, right? And all I did was went out, right? <laughs> Again, right. Now, mm, I'm not saying what happened again, right? But if you mess with me as if we did something when we did when we did, do you understand, right? Mm. And you're messing with me, and uh, you and not him, you. He lives here too. He has a right to get out there anytime he wants. Whether he finds you attractive or not. <laughs> you know that too. <laughs> it's a free fucking country unless you're going to fucking Russia. Go to Russia if you want this kind of treatment. <laughs> you're treating me worse than a Russian citizen. I'm a United States of America citizen, right? Last time I checked. <laughs> but you even think you have the free will to murder people just for eating at your restaurant. You don't. And when you try to murder me as if I did, I did. <laughs> Do you understand? No, no. I'm here to eat the food like any other customer. You do not have the right to refuse me, sir. No, I'm not doing nothing wrong. You are. No. You have to prove I'm doing something wrong first. I'm break not breaking your code, right? You're breaking your own code by paranoia. And no, the Bible don't say you can't have premarital sex. Men do not follow in the Bible anymore. They never like following the Bible, and you know it. <laughs> but the whole thing, right? Moses, too, knows it would be a lie to tell a woman you can't have premarital sex with her. Don't you? When you do have premarital sex with her yourselves, liars, false prophets, hypocrites, that's what you all are. Like Jesus said 2,000 years ago. Why make a man wait a year before he marries a virgin? And Gabriel is the man, she said, <laughs> told her she would have the first child. Yeah, who's Gabriel? <laughs> is there a Gabriel in Nazareth? <laughs> or a Yid? <laughs> Do you understand what it means? And Gabriel can't be a man or she wouldn't have let him lay with her. Mm -hmm. There's something different about this Gabriel too. Right. <laughs> Somehow he involved Lazarus and Elizabeth too. Right. <laughs> Whoever this Gabriel is. <laughs> All right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And like us, they could name a child Gabriel. Straight to God, straight to God, right? Not just Jesus. <laughs> Jesus also was a proper name at the end. Thus Yeshua in the Hebrew, right? They contract it, or Joshua even, right? Kind of mean the same thing, right? Or from the same root, consonants, right? The vowels is tricky. <laughs> Not the consonants. You know the consonants, <laughs> It's the vowels they want to argue about. <laughs> Is it Yahoo or Yahuwah? <laughs> right. Right. Or both. Or both. <laughs> See, you're all like <laughs> about me. <laughs> Where I can't even eat out at a restaurant without accusations being thrown at me. You know, for wanting to sleep with a waitress. It's like, that's a sin, right? It's not a sin, right? If they're not married, <laughs> if they're married, I'm not even trying to, but trying to eat. Right. The accuser of the brethren is the ones who are going to be punished the worst, not the brethren, right, or the sister, right. 
And the punishment fits the crime. If I'm just out there to eat my food and I'm mainly eating the food, right? And you black me out five minutes during the, I'm eating the food, right? <laughs> You're the one taking the law into your own hands, even though I did nothing wrong, right? You understand the difference too, right? If she does have a baby, I'll leave my baby without sex. Without sex. The accusation is firmer than the crime, right? If you're trying to kill me over it, right? The difference is the girl can say no, right? Until you killed me. <laughs> now she gets framed. Be your baby. Yep. <laughs> Even if I never had sex with her. Mm hmm. Because you're so sure, I would, right? That even if we didn't, we did, right? Do you know why that's an accusation, right? Even if we did, right? And you actually blacked me out for it, right? One, I asked questions. Two, she answered the questions. Three, <laughs> If you got there in time or not, again, right. Mm. She has to lie to me so much or tell the truth, right? Herself, herself. And if she's lying and telling the truth, so are you, so are you. I'm the only one telling the whole truth and trying to repent too, right? Whether we had sex or not. <laughs> Sometimes the accusation is greater than the crime, right? Even if the crime didn't happen, right? No, it's God, not witchcraft. You're in the witchcraft, right? What you're doing is killing yourself, right? What I'm doing is slowly saving myself from you, from you. You know, when I open my eyes again and finish the food, right? Every time the accusation was hurled, right? I handled it and went back to eating the food, right? <laughs> no matter how many people were involved with it during that 45 to say an hour, right? I was actually there, right? Before I left, right? <laughs> and again, right? You can't call the cops on a man eating his food in peace, right? And not causing a disturbance of that until you started the disturbance, right? If you start the disturbance, you're the problem, not me, you know. Like Cliff Yon, right? He's not the only one who can eat out of the goddamn restaurant, Cliff. I can too. <laughs> I don't even know where you eat. If we eat at the same place and I arrive at a different time than you, I didn't know you were there. I don't even know what your car looks like, motherfucker. Get over yourselves. Excuse my French share YouTube. But this man is sicker than me, right? Mm -hmm. Trust me, he is. He too has a God complex where God's about to knock his ass down a few pegs, right? He'll show him who the real God is, right? Not me. Mm -hmm. He don't even fear God like most idiots. Mm -hmm. Well, he's about to find out and step into the mire as the pig he is, right? And we know you are doing something wrong. You wouldn't be avoiding me if you weren't. And God knows what you're doing wrong, too, right? I'm just a man here, right? Like you, but seeking the truth, right? Unlike you, right? And not trying to hurt little girls, right? By teaching them fake-ass karate, they're trying to rape them, right? Possibly, right? Right, right. Now, the accuser of the brethren is the one doing the crime, right? Trust me, trust me. He knows how to do it. I never learned how to do it. I don't get along with little girls, right? Or alone, right? And the little girl would have to, what? Come to you, come to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. if the girl's being abused, right? And I don't abuse her, right? She fought me, right? <laughs> and lied about her age, right? I told you that too, right? I am not qualified, nor do I have to check ID at the door 
Though again, mm -hmm, a child shouldn't be able to get to me, right? At all, normally. Normally. An adult woman again over 18. Yeah. Yeah. But then it was the night before, not today. Not today. Do you understand the difference there too, right? There's nothing wrong with having sex with someone who works in your restaurant either. <laughs> Even outside of hours. <laughs> Even if she wants to take a five minute break of me and her going to the bathroom and I massage her <laughs> for five minutes. And we all need massage, right? That's none of your business. <laughs> None of your business, right? And your business ain't to punish people. You're not the police, right? The woman has to say, I did something wrong in the bathroom. Not it, right? You don't get to say what we did. You didn't see it. <laughs> and I keep telling you all I'm trying to do is give them a massage at the most, right? Which is free, right? But if they know where I live and want more than a massage, that's what I tell them come back later and we can do something a bit more. Right? Now, if they did, that's the point too. Right? I don't remember that either. They're just your employees, not your slaves. <laughs> You're not responsible for them either, though. Every person is individually responsible for their own life. Always have been, as I was told, right? And you don't have the right to interfere if I'm just giving her a massage in the bathroom. <laughs> and we know better than to do anything more during the day. <laughs> I know that. But I wouldn't buzz her here, right? In public, right? Or in the bathroom, right? And if I give her a massage, right, it's private, right? Mm -hmm. At the bus, at the bus. During the day, during the day. If she wants more, she can come back at night or come to my house, right? Off hours, right? But if she just asks for a massage, that's all I'm giving her is a massage, right? During the day. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. Well, no one's supposed to, but you can't. Here's the point, right? Um, but I tell them that, too. I can massage you during the day, but I can't have sex with you. But, right, if you want more, you can come back at night. Right. And they know where I live. <laughs> See, they're just trying to show me I'm at least massaging them, and then you get all pissed off like they can't take a break. Right. I mean, massage them a little, right? I don't know. But everything else is working but the TV and the sound, right? And I did nothing to the TV but turn it off and that's right. Now, there was a police officer sitting out at the front, right? Which don't normally happen. But here's the problem, officer. Right? The girls think about sex too, right? And you're crazy if you think they don't, right? And you can't accuse me, right? As if we did, even if we didn't. And, uh, now, like I told you, you would know if the girl came at night because her parents would call you, right? Knowing she's out the house and probably was headed to the pedophile's house, right? But if she did, by the time you get here, <laughs> you're too late. She doesn't talk me into it. <laughs> if she came here, she came here because she's curious and wanted to say it's right. And you're telling her I'm a pedophile but have sex with her, right? I'm not. <laughs> I'm telling her she has to be 16 or 13 and she's acting like she's nuts, right? Or tells me she's definitely 16, right? Why? Because I won't have sex with a 16-year-old? No, I tell her it's a 13-year-old I can't have sex with, right? But she knows she's really 13, right? See, she thinks I'm lying to her, right? But then we start really having sex, too. Right. And she likes it. Right. <laughs> I'm not hurting her. I'm making her first time feel good. Right. 
She's enjoying it, right? <laughs> she's acting as if she's really 16 to 13, right? And I can't do nothing, right? If she tells me she's 16 and we start having sex and she's on top too, I can't throw her off, right? I don't know how you count. I can't physically harm her either, right? I can't use my karate or martial arts skills on a child who thinks she's 16 and trying to have sex with a 52-year-old, right? <laughs> For her first time, right? Even though I'm telling her the truth, she starts longing, right? To have the sex with me that she's 16, right? She don't believe me when I tell her I won't have sex with a 13-year-old, right? Mm -hmm. But I can with a 16, right? So she tells me she's 16, right? But then we really start having sex, right? Do you understand what you're doing? It's like when the girl told me she was 37, right? It wasn't because she wanted the sex, right? It's because she didn't think I would try to be with her. She was 37 she was wrong. I know she was wrong. I want a 37-year-old girl, dummy, right? It's the 15-year-old I wasn't trying to have sex with. You confused her. <laughs> Did I have sex with her? Yes. <laughs> Not him confusing her. You're telling her he wants sex with a child. But when she told me she's 37, she's not a child, right? See? See? But I want sex with a 37-year-old woman. Not a child, not a child, right? That's what I'm telling you. Right. That's called screwing your wires. Crossing your wires. Right. You're not following the whole Bible in the first place. Right. Even if we did go into the bathroom and had the sex, you didn't shoot me until after, even if you healed me in a minute, right? It's not about the sex. It's not about the healing either. <laughs> it's why the girl had the sex with me. <laughs> You're confusing her too, right? <laughs> not me, right? You're telling her I want sex with a 15-year-old when I want sex with a 37-year-old, right? That's what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. And like I'm telling Molly and Molly, right? Again, right? <laughs> Molly more than Molly, too, right? <laughs> Premarital sex, right? Works the same, right? The Bible says in one part, you can do it, and in the other, it's immoral, right? But why? He's dealing with different beliefs of different people at the time. So is Jesus, right? They were already teaching for doctrine the commandment of men, right? Not of God anymore. Mm -hmm. And we got more laws than Moses had back then, right? We got all kind of laws, but they still apply. I know they do. Now, if you say the age of consent in Georgia is 16, guess what? It's 16. Even for a 52-year-old, right? <laughs> To sleep with a 16-year-old. Right. But I told you, I don't go after 16-year-olds. I would prefer 20 or older. Right. So again, who's not listening? You're not listening. Right. Who's confusing their wires? You're crossing your wires. Right. Who's one of the two witnesses? Shane Lee's one of the two witnesses. Right. And not asking Pastor Thomas still. <laughs> He's telling you. <laughs> I don't have to ask you if I am. I tell you I am if I'm not right. And the two witnesses ain't something you play around with. <laughs> you don't have a bunch of people walking up to you every day telling you they're the two witnesses or do you, right? Mm -hmm. Not specifically the two, right? Or they might tell you they have some kind of religious experience with Jesus and think they're Jesus. That's different, right? I know I'm not Jesus. <laughs> But I'm as Jesus, right? <laughs> There's a different sense of thinking there, too, right? See, they're trying to be Jesus and replace Jesus and become Satan to their congregation and start a cult, right? Instead of following Jesus. They don't know Jesus, right? Those are the ones Jesus warned you about. They're the false prophets who don't acknowledge him first and try to be equal to him or greater than him, right? 
They're not. They're sinning too. Right. They too fuck around. Right. They too sin. Right. Thinking they're doing it how Jesus did it. Even with the woman at the well, they think he had sex with her too. Right. They're not wrong. But they're not doing it for the same purpose Jesus did it. Right. Either, either. Right. He's both. Right. He's doing it to restore the kingdom back to God. They're doing it to keep us like Satan and confused of God, right? As Satan wanted to from the beginning, right? See, that's what he thinks his job is, right? I know. <laughs> and we're all confused, Maria. <laughs> if you're 13 or 19, I don't know. I can't have sex with you either if you're 13 or 19, right? If you're with someone, right? But that's not so you can seduce me, knock me out, and go back to your boyfriend, right? <laughs> right? Right. Because <laughs> he won't have premarital sex with you. He's trying to wait for marriage, right? And you're not honoring it, right? <laughs> you're trying to have premarital sex with me, right? <laughs> and he ain't worried about it because he knows I really ain't trying to have premarital sex with you. If you knock me out, it's as, as if we didn't, though we did, right? <laughs> Mm-hmm. And if you time it right, you might not get pregnant every time we have sex either, either, right? I'm not trying to knock you up either, right? <laughs> but I can, and it won't be when you expect it. <laughs> it'll be when I don't. It'll be when you don't. It'll be when you're about fed up with it all. Mm-hmm. I told you that too. You're tempting the Lord then, right? If I don't remember it, you're tempting the Lord, not me. I, I would want to remember being with you, right? Mm-hmm. I know. And it's not Matt's fault for trusting you and me either. I'm not showing any signs we're even together, and that's how he looks at it, right? And only you would know when you come over. I don't even know the hour. <laughs> But you gotta wait for him to fall asleep, right? <laughs> and it don't take but five actual minutes to have sex, right? I know. <laughs> Even with you on top. <laughs> but you're not Molly. You're not the other girls, right? And everything's different for a reason, right? I know. I know. But you let it happen, right? And entrapment is the other point, right? If she's 15 and she tells me she's 37 and I just walked into your store, your responsibility is to make sure the girl's qualified to do her job and feels comfortable telling me she's 15 so we don't have sex, right? It's not my job, it's hers, is it? No, and yours, isn't yours. You're running the business, right? Not me, I <laughs> know. You're running from the store, right? But when I went in there, just like any customer, I'm only expecting the nail job, right? It's because of what she tells me I get tempted to show her something in the bathroom and she goes in there with me, we start doing it, right? And if she is 15, she don't know what we're doing, right? Is really sex, right? Either, either. <laughs> That's how naive she is, right? She just thinks I'm making her feel good or something or massaging her and I am right but that can lead to sex too and it did and it did she just didn't know that was really what sex was or in her lack of understanding but a 37 year old woman would know what I was doing right with sex right but she she lied cause a lot peer pressure people telling her <laughs> so she didn't think I was asleep with a 37 year old right but I would, but you would. It's the 15 year old I wouldn't sleep with. That's called crossing your wires, right? <laughs> That's where I'm telling you one thing and you're telling me another, right? <laughs> and one of us is wrong. <laughs> and that makes us both a little right and a little wrong, but I'm confessing it and he forgives it as soon as I confess it. I told you that too, right? I'm not purposely trying to fuck her, right? Or have sex with a 15 year old. She thought if she told me she was 37, it would be okay. We wouldn't have sex. That's exactly what led to the sex. 
and her not knowing we even had sex. Because <laughs> she's a virgin, she never had sex before. <laughs> she didn't know you could do it for Biden. Right? <laughs> she probably thought you could do it missionary or something, right? Well, again, <laughs> right? She didn't know what she was doing, right? And I made it feel good. I know you did. <laughs> I told you it would feel good if I buzzed her pussy and, you know, kiss her from behind and did all that, right? And she let it happen, and I stuck it in. I even asked her, can I stick it in? She said, yeah. Mm-hmm. She didn't know I'm at my penis. <laughs> she couldn't even tell it was hard or soft. She couldn't even really see what it was, right? But that's not, again, tricking her. Right. That's thinking she's 37. <laughs> and should know what she's doing, right? And then when you come out, you try to tell me she's 15, right? That's too late. That's too late. That's called getting your wires crossed again, right? <laughs> Doing the opposite of what the person is telling you to do, right? Now, how would it work with a older woman, right? Well, again, right? I'm telling her I want to be with an older woman and not a child, too, right? And she really is that old. She really hasn't had a baby yet. And she's really wanting one. And she's been with a few men but can't conceive, right? And then I'll start talking about, again, right? The barren women in the Bible going to Jesus. And at least seven of them were with him. And they got pregnant by him. And that's what John's trying to tell you in Revelation, right? The seven churches also have to do with the seven women he got pregnant. And where they had to go after he got them pregnant pregnant and they had to flee Israel. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? Oh no. <laughs> There's more to it than meets the eye of what he's talking about. Right. Now the oracle translation right, and the written translation are not the same 100%. Right. The code is in the written. Right? But the truth is too but it's not The more is the less, right? With Jesus, right? A little leaven leavens the whole lump both ways, right? Now, he said this for the kingdom of God, but also for sin, right? So it works both ways. (laughs) You can have a little leaven and be in Jesus and be a sinner, right? Or you can have a little leaven and follow Satan and then you start seeing the truth. There's a difference, right? To... Two, <laughs> what are you really trying to do, right? Know the truth of God or the sin, right? Of men, right? The Satan was Satan. Who's the second God who sinned, right? Even that he is a God, but not a God, right? He's also a creature like us, too. So is Jesus, but the difference is he's three in one, and Satan became one, but acts like he's both, Right? Still but one, right? That makes him double-minded versus Jesus being one-minded, one accord, right? Again, again, accord, harmony, and unison, right? Are musical terms, too. Now, again, the diminished fifth or whatever, music, again, can be played by anyone, good or evil, right? Two, two. But the thing about the music ain't who's singing the song. Listen to the lyrics of the song. What is it saying to you? Even a negative message can be used positively and vice versa, right? A positive message can be used negative too, right? See, if you're lying about really being happy and you're miserable, right? But you're trying to lift up your spirits, of course, right? Like, say, King Saul, right? When David was playing for him, he was fine. But then he was still pissed, I don't know, with David, too. He had slain Goliath and all that, right? Now, you also don't know if the moral tale really happened or it's just an example of bad kings, right? Of not just Israel, of any kingdom, right? And they do that with other kingdoms around them, too, right? Involving their leaders, right? All right, even if Daniel was written after, right, 
Greek is an example of a bad kingdom, right? That's going astray. That love's not Nadashi, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever that means, right? Now, Nashim is from Enosh, not Ish, right? By the way, mm -hmm. it means something a little different, right? Than Ish or Isha. Mm -hmm. Now, Isha can be spelled with a T, I think, or a T. Or a U, uh, WT2, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, Bat is also daughter, but it can also be Bina. Mm -hmm. Like with Sarah. Mm -hmm. What it means is it's the masculine and the feminine for the woman, right? Mm -hmm. And she's the princess, right? And not the maiden, right? For example, right? Now, that again, though, makes a class, right? The princess is better than the maiden, right? Mm -hmm. The prince is better than the servant of the prince, right? That's still a hierarchy when we're all princes and kings and queens to Jesus, right? We're all the same, right? We're all men and women, right? And true hermaphrodites occasionally calls us in need, right? <laughs> but that's crossing your wires again, right? That's making the girl investigate it the night before and come back, right? And see if she wants to be get the candy or not, right? <laughs> and what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And then when she gets here, we have the sex. Did she likes the sex, but she can black me out or try to black for me not to remember, right? She's the one actually who would come here to see what it's all about, too, right? And I'm telling the whole truth, right? I'm not lying to her. I'm not tricking her, right? In fact, she's tricking herself, right? She thought she was smart to tell me she was 37. But that's why we had the sex, right? You thought she was 37, right, right. <laughs> I don't have to prove it when you're working in the store with your dad, right? <laughs> why? why? He's supposed to let you work, right? If you have all your qualifications, right? If you don't, he's not supposed to let you work. I told you that too, right? And when he lets me work, I work. <laughs> but if you're doing it illegally without your certifications, you can't do that. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. And I'm illegal. And you're illegally working in his store, right? And that gets you and him in trouble. Mm hmm you're not supposed to do that for till you're 16 or 15 with your cert certifications to become an apprentice, right? You have to have that so that, again, if you run into an older man, right, you don't feel you have to lie to him and tell him you're 37 when you're not, right? <laughs> then you can really tell me you're 15 and that wouldn't have happened, right? See, I'm also telling you the alternative to what would have happened, too, right? See, that's crossing your wires, right? You thought I wouldn't sleep with a 37-year-old. Hell yeah. <laughs> See? But then someone's telling you I want sex with a child, right? But when you lied to me and told me you were 37, I treated you like I could have sex with you because you're 37, right? But you knew I could because you're really 15, right? <laughs> Do you see what that does, right? That crosses the wires. It, you're getting your wires crossed because people are giving you bad information, right? I know. And I told them that, too. I've only slept with 18-year-olds. I never tried to sleep with my stepdaughter. I couldn't even if I wanted her mom there, right? Her mom would call the police on me if I ever tried anything. Right? She wouldn't hesitate leaving me stranded in Tennessee, whatever she was mad about, right? So she wouldn't hesitate calling the police, right? And she had a year before our divorce and 11 years before YouTube, right? And whoever the asshole is, right, can't know what happened unless they're part of why the girl could have looked me up. And they know they trained her to, right? That's, you know, I don't, they do. <laughs> that leaves two people, two men in her life, right? Either granddad or biological dad, right? Daphne, you know that did, right? 
And you got to bring her back and then drop her off and then come back to the apartment. You went straight to bed, right? You did, right? And I was already on the couch, so you just went straight to the bedroom, right? And you said, I'm back. I'm tired of going to bed, right? <laughs> Nothing more, I guess, right? And again, right? <laughs> that was Wednesday, right? I mean, Sunday right? night, right? And we didn't really speak that much the whole week, I don't think, really, either. You know, we did the routine until she actually got back from South, right? And his wife or girlfriend, whatever she was at the time. <laughs> and then I met her, right? And we had dinner that night until the end of the weekend. Like I said, I don't remember all the details, right? <laughs> now, if you remember more than me, shut the freaking up. <laughs> You're not helping your case either, right? <laughs> If you know she came in, that seems like you're trying to set up your husband and doing something wickeder, right? Yourself, right? And you're making your daughter mad because she don't know what happened either, right? And like I said, right? But I also made other points, like she thinks she has to sleep with me because I already took it, right? <laughs> and I would be with her again, but she wouldn't be with, wouldn't be with me again, but she don't have a choice, right? That's not to do that. That's sarcasm, right? But if she really did that, she really felt no boy would touch her if he knew the truth, right? But it wasn't the truth, you know? <laughs> Same with her, even if she had my daughter here with us, I don't know. Through your or the other person's confusion, I didn't go to her like I told her I would. And I never would, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know where you're at, I keep telling her, right? <laughs> For a reason. For a reason. But whether she is or not, right? She's just going through the motions with me, too, and got pregnant, like I told you, right? Like you could, too, right? But I'm not seducing her like you. I wanted to be with you. I can't be with her, but I don't even know I'm with her. You understand the math there, right? Though she also, as a grown woman, could not math out, too. <laughs> you see what I mean, right? <laughs> and now she's having boys. She had one girl. Mm-hmm. And she knows why that, too. I don't know, right? See, I don't know her sex history, for example, right? She never told me. <laughs> I never asked, right? If she came to me, I thought she was someone else probably, too, and just accepted whatever she was telling me, right? To get into the house, right? <laughs> See, when I'm doing that, too, that's not seducing the mother and her daughter while married to the mother, right? Either, either, right? There's a little line there, right? A loophole, right? I know. And it means something, too, about sleeping with the daughter while married to the mother, right? And it also talks about divorce. I can't go back to the mother. The daughter is different, right? <laughs> right, right. But the daughter can also black me off, I don't know, right? <laughs> And act like I was supposed to know and get mad every time and it hit me bop. <laughs> and leave and the bop, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe Jesus is covering as much as he can, right? right. Mm-hmm. Either way, either way. I don't know, right? I did or didn't, right? And like I said, right? She knows I don't. <laughs> and if you don't understand, you're crossing your wires too then, right? I know. But like on Tamron, Tamron didn't have a baby till recently either, right? For example, right? But then she had an Indian girl who said she was waiting for marriage and Everyone was having premarital sex, but then she talks about making love, right? Like I did. Like, you know. 
again. <laughs> now that's because her religion does teach you how to wait for marriage, right? See, that's still man's law, though. That's a lie, I know. Truth is, if everyone does have a premarital sex, premarital sex is just sex before you can get legally married, right? It's not saying you can't get legally married after the sex, right? But what makes it immoral, like I told you yesterday, is what? Are you just trying to get into the girl's pants or do you really want to marry her, right? I know that. Now, if, again, something happened or not, only who would know that? Tamron or the Indian girl, right? Because, see, if, even at 36, people know where you're at. I don't know. Nobody cares where I'm at, right? Even if I tell them. <laughs> I know. But I tell them because I'm trying to start a church, I'm trying to do this, and you're even interfering with that because you don't understand how far from the truth you've fallen, right? And Jesus, did, Paul didn't say, oh, slowly they'll come uh, falling away 2,000 years later. No, he said, first, in his day, they will come and fall in away. Mm -hmm. And you're still in that fallen state from 2,000 years ago. You ain't recovering from it, right? You're going back to the temptations of Satan and still doing evil like Satan, right? And don't even know what you're doing wrong. That's why you're lukewarm, right? Lukewarm means you're going halfway to the truth, right? But then stopping, right? Short, right? You're not doing the 100%, right? Mm -hmm. If you're below 60, you're lukewarm, right? <laughs> or cold, right? <laughs> And you think you're hot. That's the problem, too, right? <laughs> you don't even know hot. You don't even know hot. <laughs> and you also don't know how cold it can get for you, right? And the coldness has to do with what's going on in Russia and Ukraine. It has to do with what's going on with me and the confusion we're causing, right? Whether me and the girl had sex or not. And I'm just giving her a massage, right? But I can come if we're doing it from behind, right? In the bathroom too, right? If she acts like she wants to massage me to massage her, right? And I start doing the massage again, right? And she lets me pull down her pants or something, right? To buzz her mm, down there, right? <laughs> if she wants that too, right? <laughs> but I would also tell her it's better to do it at my house than here, right? And I can only do it quick here, right? <laughs> I'm not going to be here more than 45 minutes to an hour again, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> but it was quicker with the girl, but I also ate fewer plates. And, uh, I didn't eat the full three, right? <laughs> With Michelle. Mm. But she's petite, right? <laughs> I might can be with her in, say, three minutes, right? <laughs> but say Kelly in five, right? <laughs> no. Right, right. <laughs> of the hour I'm there, right? <laughs> no. Including eating the food, right? <laughs> Including couple of times during the thing where you can go back there, right, and then come back, right. And then I don't remember what happened again, right, and go back to eating, right. Now, that's probably because when we go back there, right, and come back and I sit back down, right, <laughs> and go back to eating, that's when I have to be blacked out, right. And then I go back to eating, I don't even know I'm going back there, right. <laughs> And she is trying to show you something. And she ain't trying to show you something, right? Mm hmm And what she's doing is because of the accusations as well. Mm hmm And she don't think we're having sex either. I don't think we're having sex either, right? <laughs> but we probably are. We probably are. <laughs> Just differently than she did what, does with her husband, right? She don't know the sex for some reason, right? She only thinks sex is one way, him on top, right? 
No, no. <laughs> it's not. If she had a boy, he's mine, right? Girl, maybe, girl, maybe. First one, maybe, right? <laughs> the first one is to prove I didn't bless you. <laughs> the rest will be boys lying. <laughs> You're still tempting it, right? <laughs> if I had you from your real virginity when you were old enough to be with me finally, right? I said all that too for a reason, right? And repentance, right? You have to know. Mm -hmm. You're sinning too, right? If I bite now, I don't know what I did to even confess it properly, right? It's why I'm making up a bunch of different stories anyway to the girl, right? She don't know that was sex either, right? She thinks I just massaged her, kind of played with her pussy a little, and felt something go inside her, but it wasn't painful, right? She was probably told the first time it would hurt by someone else, right? Because their first time hurt, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but hers didn't, so she didn't think we had sex. See, she was told it was supposed to hurt, right? <laughs> it didn't hurt, so she didn't think we were having sex, right? You understand what I mean? Right. We did that. <laughs> well, that's you're telling me. It don't have to hurt. <laughs> If you know what you're doing. <laughs> but what she's telling me ain't how we did it. No, it ain't. <laughs> the man gets on top of the girl even if she says no one does it anyway and it hurts and it hurts. Well, he don't know what he's doing, right? He's not taught how to have sex with her like I was, right? He didn't read the book by Xavier. <laughs> The horny hooker. <laughs> to learn how older women even seduce younger men. Right. You know. See, I, I know it all. <laughs> to how to be with a virgin, because of course she was a virgin at one time too, right? I know. <laughs> and she also was honest about what she liked in the bedroom and what she didn't. I know. And of course all women love what position? Woman on top, right, Penelope? <laughs> Well, that's her movie, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> now, I know she's with Javier and all that, right? And I bless them. I don't get involved. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I also try to bless relationships. I don't get involved. I'm not done. <laughs> but I would actually let her be on top, though. <laughs> right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about the other guy. <laughs> I don't, they would. I don't think wouldn't, right? But if you always got to drive, <laughs> I usually do three. <laughs> right, Nikki? Three times a night. Right, three times a night. She said something like that. <laughs> I can hang. <laughs> Ask my exes, right? <laughs> Even once is about five minutes. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> be quick or slow be quick or slow and if I don't know I can, I can just come back I can do it again go back that, do it again <laughs> I don't even know I did it the first two times right or third right <laughs> but I am know I'm there enough to do it with at least three right but not more than that right I don't think right because I'm also eating the food that takes a little bit of time <laughs> At least 10 of the 15 minutes, right? I'm eating the food, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. And all I'm really offering them is a massage in the bathroom and to give them a break, right? <laughs> I mean, a back massage, back massage to the mm -hmm. female part. <laughs> To make him feel good for, for a minute. <laughs> or two. Or two. <laughs> uh, now, if it's a quick massage, it's under three minutes for the massage, and then, right, two minutes, and then one, one <laughs> for the last thing. But I told you with Molly, it was under a minute. <laughs> the actual sex part. I ain't had sex in a while. Mm <laughs> hmm. That I know of, right? Now, if Molly's there, how are you getting in, right? 
You can't be with Molly there, right? Unless she's letting you fuck me instead of her fucking me. But then what, the last night she fucked me, right? So why? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who else was, right? So you're getting, right? <laughs> I don't know anyone else was around me but Molly, right? And then... And again, right? And again, right? <laughs> I did the first time pretend to have sex with her, but I thought her yeah. stop me, right? <laughs> but again, I'm acting out with her, right? Now, could she have had sex with me the whole time? Is she had on top? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And the last time I remembered that, wow, we did something else after. I, I made sure I remembered that one. <laughs> and that what I'm telling you? She can black you out too. She can black me out too, right? If we fuck the whole two weeks, I don't know. <laughs> By the time she came down, you know what I mean? Right. But she waited until I went to sleep. But Mr. Mojo, he got excited <laughs> and got on top and gently rode, right? <laughs> 